The Xbox, one of the most powerful consoles ever made. I love my Xbox, I've had it for about 4 years. But today, I'm going to be unlocking its potential. I'm going to be making it run Windows. And you're probably not going to believe me. This isn't just me going to a website and streaming it from somebody else's computer. This is genuinely running on my Xbox. And how do I do it? You're just going to have to watch to find out, aren't you? I'm not going to tell you now, it's going to ruin my watch time. So, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. Also, join my Discord. The link's on the screen and also in the description. Anyway, let's begin. Okay, so, um, to begin, uh, we, we need something called DOSBox. So, it's going to cost me £12 to enroll as a developer. It now costs 14. So now we can actually begin. So for anybody wondering why I just did that, to make sure your console doesn't get bricked while doing this, you need to have Microsoft Dev Mode, which, you know, it's a shame, but... Okay, so I've done a bit of looking, and what I need to do is I need to search for... Dev mode, there it is. Dev kit activation. Okay, click next. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and now I need to enter that in somewhere. And it's activating. Yes. Switch and restart. So this is the Xbox dev mode home screen. So I think because this is like another OS in a way, where's... Oh, controller's off. Let's see what happens if I launch settings. Oh, okay. Okay, network settings. There you go, we're now on the internet. I need to add my account to the Xbox. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what to do next. So... Okay, so authorizations need to continue. Uh, Xbox, Xbox. Wow, that is actually it. Okay. Thank you, my glorious king. Thank you. So I'm now formatting my USB. Right click, properties, security, advanced, add, select a principle. Check name. Okay. And now just full control. Okay. Replace all child object permission entries. Okay. So right here, we have both versions of Windows 98. We have the actual ISO and then we have the boot. So here we get the MIDI and sound files, and then also get the Voodoo drivers. So everything needs to be zipped for some reason. Okay, so let's launch RetroArch. Uh, this isn't it. And then load archive. <laughs> Do you want to know something funny? So I tried to enter this archive into DOSBox Pure so many times. But do you want to know what happened? Fucking nothing. This lack of progress honestly made me think it wasn't possible. And it also made me feel like I've wasted £14. Bruh. But I wasn't without hope. So I kept on trying. Until... We actually got the install button come up on this thing. This shows that it's actually possible to get Windows 98 on this Xbox. But before any of that, I need to show you how we got to this step in the first place. So what did I do to try and sort out this problem? At the start, nothing. I didn't think there was anything I could do. That is until I actually started looking into it. After looking at more tutorials, Reddit threads, I figured out that it might just be better to use a normal RetroArch tutorial instead of using one designed to be used on the Xbox. But, at the end, that wasn't the case. After a lot of reflashing my USB, 
I decided to post on Reddit and join the Lib Retro Discord server. That's when I spoke to somebody called New User, and they helped me actually troubleshoot it. With their help, and also me tinkering some settings in RetroArch, we finally got to this screen. So, let's continue. Oh, Jesus Christ. Finally, I've got, I've got to this. So, I can't take the credit for how I've done this. I want to give credit to the Lib Retro Discord server, and I'd like to give credit to new user here. But, we finally got to this step. So, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what the best thing to do. Uh, create a new hard disk, yeah, two gigabytes. Start Windows 98, set up from CD-ROM. So, what I just need to figure out is how to get up a keyboard. But, all I've worked out so far is that the menu buttons enter. On RetroArch Xbox, what is the key to bring up the keyboard? On RetroArch, if you're using an Xbox controller, you can bring up the on-screen keyboard by pressing the start. Clanker. Okay. So that. Oh, oops. Here we go again then. My, my controller's died. TV remotes take it one for the team today. Let's hit OK. Restart now. Oh, oh no way. This is incredible. And I think what I need to do now... Get a game? Okay, so going forward goes sideways and doing anything else does nothing. How do I oh I need to hit that oh oh dear. One kill, two kill, right. Oh, I don't want to go back up. <laughs> oh he's awake, what? Okay, right, yeah. Oh I wish I could explain how horrific this is. Oh. So we have two games here. We have Doom 2 and we have Wolfstein, yes. We actually have proper movement, sort of, in a way. So going that way is that way and this just does nothing. Whoa, whoa. So I'm not entirely sure what to do at this stage. But all right, I think, <laughs> I think that's enough for Doom so far. So let's close content. Uh, keyboard does nothing. As I boot up Windows 98 for the final time, I just want to say that I've written a full tutorial on how to do this in the description. If you have an Xbox on RetroArch, and you have about 20 quid left around, I think you should give it a try. Because honestly, this has been one of my favourite projects to do on the channel. Because just look, look at it. So, for the final time, thank you for watching.